I'm sure most of you already know the lovely Natasha. We know you're lovely, don't we? Because you were just attracting kisses from a tramp, poor girl. <laughs> Tasha isn't exactly being seen in her best light right now. Look. We've got strong sunshine going on. This is the classical don't do situation for a portrait because the sun's coming in over Janie's right shoulder. Look, we've got a strong shadow going on here. There's a strong black shadow around Tasha's nose, around her eyes, when her hair comes forward. This side of her face is really, really bright. And this side is really dark. But what if I was to say I could magic that away? If I was just to go kazam, you see how much softer that is? Look, so what am I doing? piece of white card. It's a reflector. Well, actually, it isn't a reflector. It is a piece of white card. A reflector is probably the most basic, easiest light modifying equipment that you could ever use. All I'm doing with this is just, and I think even from there, you can see the difference on Tasha's face just by moving the white card around. You could use anything. There are purpose-built reflectors such as this last light, which I'm going to show you in a minute. You could even use a white envelope. Anything will do as a reflector. And wherever you move it to, so you get the light. The closer this is to Tasha, I think you'll see the stronger the effect of the reflector. So in here, we've got a pretty strong effect. But as I move back, it becomes more subtle. I saw that sneaky look, Natasha. It becomes more subtle as you move back and forth. Wherever you put it, I'm using it now to soften these shadows. But look, you see, I could put it under here just to try and work on this area under Tasha's chin so you could bring the light in from underneath. You can see how it modifies. Now, you wouldn't normally use a reflector in such an unsubtle way as we are here, but I just want to show you what it does. But you don't just need a reflector to reflect light in. You could use one to remove it. If I come over here, all these shadows here are not particularly nice on Tasha's face. So let's remove all the shadows, but instead of, instead of adding light, we're going to take some light away. What I'm going to do is put Tasha's face in shade. Now there are no shadows, but she's gone very dark compared to the background. But if you increase your exposure a bit and expose for Tasha rather than the park, Tasha will look really, really nice, a beautiful flat, even light. Okay, the rest of the picture's gone bright, but it's still a look. It's quite a sort of interesting look and it really, really separates her from her environment. There we go. Lots and lots of things you can do with a reflector. So let's take a quick look at the purpose-built Laster light. You're being very good at keeping still. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Nat. Right. So these things, they come in all sorts of colours, shapes and sizes. You can buy enormous great big things like this, which you have to wrestle with to put away. You can buy little tiny ones like that, which you can just hold in your hand, would you? Thank you. Right. Look at that. Cool, isn't it? As you can see, this one, we've got a silver side. And if I reflect some light into the camera lens, you can see just how powerful that reflects. And I've also got a gold side on this one. Some of them you might have a white um, reflector on one side and a silver because the white won't be as harsh, won't be as strong as the silver light. If I just kind of scoop a bit of light onto Tasha with the silver thing, you can see that is actually, it's very, very, very powerful indeed as I just scoop some light up. Now something which is, you need to think about is kind of physics. The sun, the light's coming from over there, it's coming this way. So you need to scoop it up from this side to push it back into those shadows. This isn't obviously going to work if you're on this side because it's a bit of a no-brainer really, isn't it? With the silver side, we're putting in tons of light. That's way too much. I could move back a quite a long way with this and still look at that, even from back over here, hopefully not falling in the river, which you would love, wouldn't you? <laughs> I can still scoop up light. Look at Tasha's face as it just pushes some light it makes an enormous difference. That's it, getting close. While well, I just kind of do some of this stuff. Big difference. Now the sun is going to be going in and out a bit. There's a couple of little bits of cloud coming along. So I quickly want to show you what the gold side's for. This will add colour to your picture. This is going to scoop up some gold light and fill in the shadows with gold. So Tasha now looks like she's been in the tanning, tanning salon. So we're not only getting rid of the shadows, we're sort of putting a colour onto that. Let's just flip it over to silver again for you quickly. So that's a neutral colour and the gold colour. 